Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to another video. Today, I am doing something crazy to my hair. I like don't really know exactly what I want to do, but I thought I would just film it for you guys because I get so many questions about what exactly I ask for or like what I get done. And I know this time is going to be a little bit different, so I thought I would just film it again. Last time when I got my hair done, I just created an IGTV video. So if you want to know what I got for this hair right here, go check it out on my IGTV. I'll link it down below. Um, but I think I'm gonna chop my hair off. It's like really really long So I don't know how much I'm cutting. I kind of want to go like this short Which is like well now it doesn't look like that much. It honestly just grows really really fast So I don't mind doing a big chop or doing a big cut But I posted this TikTok right here and almost everyone was telling me to not cut my hair or just get a trim But I feel like I always do that and I kind of want to just switch it up I have some new inspo picks that I'll probably do like a little slideshow here in case you want to do the same thing that I'm going to get today. The appointment is in a couple minutes, so I'm going to head into the salon and I'm going to Salon Mystique today. I'm actually partnering with them on Instagram, so I'm just pumped to do something a little bit different. I'm here at Salon Mystique and I'm with my hairstylist. Hi, I'm Grace. I'm a stylist here at Salon Mystique and I just moved here in March, right during COVID. <laughs> so she actually helped with my hair last time I had Misty and Grace. And I'm super excited to just kind of do something different this time. Um, let's show you my inspo pics. Oh yeah, cute. <clears throat> so what's that like right here? Wait, that's not even that much. Yeah, it's so like right here. Mm -hmm. Or maybe a little bit shorter. It looks like hers is maybe, <laughs> maybe about there. We don't have to take that much off. No, I, <laughs> I, I was just saying that like my hair grows so fast. So, so uh -huh. I feel like. Why not? It does always feel good to do a big chop. Yeah. So, so, um, and, okay, so this is how short I want, like, in college. Okay. And I liked it, mm -hmm. but I feel like maybe it was a little bit too layered. Because, okay. I don't, but is her hair layered, or is it, like, not? Do you, um, see, you see? It looks like she has more of a blunt haircut. Okay. With maybe just a little bit of face, face framing. framing. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I want to do now. Okay. Yeah. Because, like, this, I don't, like, I don't even know. Where I got my haircut, but that was not yeah a good it's haircut. Like a pretty strong face frame, and then it's not really blended into yes. the rest of it. It looks so, like so, and then like I like my hair here, here. Mm -hmm. but then just like obviously with the colors and stuff. Okay, so for the color, I feel like the back since last time it was like so drastic for me to mm -hmm. do anything. Like we started off like kind of like slow, slow. Mm -hmm. but I kind of want to do it like bring the color up. What yeah. do you think? Uh, yeah, I think that'll be pretty. Um, how so like, far up are you thinking? I don't know, but like I like that it's like that's pretty. Yeah, so it's not all the way to the roots. It's yeah, just yeah, a yeah. Little higher. Mm -hmm. And I can follow the pattern that we did last time. Mm -hmm. And then I love these little pieces in the front, so I want those again. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I like a strong one piece. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I did see like this side. I feel like last time was a little just warm. Okay. So like even more ashy. Yeah. Okay. But I, I don't know, because I like it, but maybe mm -hmm. it's just because it's been a while, but... Yeah, it'll fade also yeah. after a little while, so if you're not wanting to do anything too drastic... I think, like, not that what about, like, in between of this and this? Yeah, like, just a little lighter without yeah. being, yeah. like, blonde. Because I want to do, like, more drama, because mm -hmm. now I'm used to it, you yeah. know what I mean? You're ready. So, yeah, I think I'm ready. <laughs> okay. What's really cool about Salon Mystique is that they have their own suites, so that's why our masks are off. No one else is in here, so we're good. But I wanted to do like a little question and answer with my hairstylist because I feel like I get a lot of hair questions, especially on TikTok, because I feel like all of my TikToks go viral about my hair, thanks to Grace and Misty. So today I wanted to tell you guys everything that you should know before dyeing your virgin hair or just dyeing your hair in general. So the first one we have is if you've never dyed your hair before, start subtle because I feel like the first time that they dyed my hair, they did money pieces on me, which are the pieces that are brighter right here. So it was really drastic, but it wasn't even drastic. It was just like a mental thing. I agree. I feel like people see pictures of something they really like and they want to dramatically change their hair. Yeah. And some people love doing that and mm -hmm. it's awesome. Yeah. But if you've never done it before, yeah. chances are high that you're going to hate it. Mm -hmm. At least at first. Even right. I do that. The first time I change my hair, I hate it for like two days and then you love it. Like you just have to let it sit 
and like go subtle at first. Right. <laughs> also, I would say choose a color that complements your skin tone. Um, same thing with like if you're looking at pictures of other people, make sure that they sort mm -hmm. of have similar coloring to you to see what it's actually going to look like. That's smart. Rather than just someone on Pinterest. Yeah. That looks good on. <laughs> and that brings us to our third point. So bring pictures with you. Yeah, every stylist is different and every client is different. So you might think that you're talking about the same thing, but pictures are really the only way to make sure that you're on the same page. We were just talking about curtain bangs and mm -hmm. how everyone on TikTok was getting curtain bangs and we were saying that like the pictures that they wanted it to look like were more like face framing layers, but they called it curtain bangs because TikTok called it curtain mm -hmm. bangs. So like, yeah, I feel like a picture would have definitely helped out in that situation. Um, and then also <laughs> Grace was just telling me that you should cover the face of the picture that you are like wanting to get your hair dyed to look like because it might just be a really pretty girl mm -hmm. <laughs> and I thought that was really smart because I never <laughs> thought about that. I do that all the time. You just want to look like her yes. and it's like you have to imagine it on your face. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would say also just be prepared to invest in different hair products depending on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. um, like if color you're going really blonde. Products. Yeah like a purple shampoo for blondes, um, mm -hmm. the purple will cancel out yellow. Um, with more of a brunette like this, the undertone is closer to orange, so you'd use a blue shampoo yeah. to cancel that out. I'll um, link down below the blue shampoo that I have been using, it's really good. And the fifth point is to look at the hairstylist's Instagram page. I feel like that's a given, especially now in today's age. Just do your research, make sure you're going to a good place that um, you know you like what Mm -hmm. You see on their Instagram their own style, yeah, and like different kind of aesthetics. So if yeah, you don't like their work, you probably won't like what they do on you. <laughs> yeah, I would say also just be really honest with your hairstylist. A lot of the times, clients will lie to you without even knowing. Um, so just like I'll usually ask someone if they've ever dyed their hair, mm -hmm. and. A lot of the times they'll say no because it was a couple years ago and they think it washed out or whatever. Permanent hair color doesn't wash out. Yeah. Um, so it makes a big difference in the way that we're going to color your hair. Um, if you've ever used like sun in, like different stuff uh, like that, you might, that's a big one. Uh, <laughs> um, just be honest about it because your hairstylist isn't going to be mad at you. They yeah. just need to know. Like, it's not in a way of like judging, like, yeah. we use like box dye. It's <laughs> that we just need to know so that we can do it differently so that your hair doesn't get fried. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, well, that's all the points that we have thought of, and I hope that was helpful to you. A lot of people message me saying that they're just scared to like bleach their virgin hair. What, what would you say to someone that is like, I'm just scared? <laughs> Um, I would say just do your research about the stylist that you're going to. Mm. Um, start smaller like this, like a more subtle balayage mm -hmm. rather than trying to go like platinum right away because it will change the texture of your hair a little bit. Yeah. Nothing dramatic should happen, but um, just so that you can sort of start slow and go gentle first um, rather than doing anything too drastic. While we're here, why don't you tell everyone what you're doing on my hair today? And like, if somebody asks me, you know, what did you ask your hairstylist for? What would you tell them? So on your hair, since your natural hair is pretty dark, mm -hmm. I usually like to do a foliage, is what it's called, mm -hmm. um, rather than a balayage. Okay. A balayage traditionally is open air. So okay. rather than being in the foil, yeah. it would just be, like, you, I'm sure you've seen them on Instagram and stuff, like uh -huh. the hair is just all sitting out but okay. the foil conducts heat so it'll process better okay um with hair like this like it can just sort of turn brassy or not really lift at all okay um and lift means just to get it lighter okay yeah so i usually prefer to stick in foils mm -hmm. um but other than that you do it the same way as a balayage really um it's just a different technique and I'm just bringing it up a little bit yeah. from the end since we are going to do a haircut. Her balayage starts like sort of about here. So I'm just bringing it up so that we're not cutting off all the color that we did. Mm -hmm. um, and just brought her money piece up so it's close to her roots again. Yay. Those are my favorites. You guys have to, I, I asked her, I was like, do you have to specify if you want money pieces? And she said that just, like if, it, if you're going to a good hairstylist that they'll most likely ask you if they want if you want that um but 
I mean, I guess maybe, especially if you're showing them pictures, they'll probably see it, right? Yeah, they're so, really popular right now. Yeah. Most people will probably do it, but. I say ask. do it because mm -hmm. they, I feel like if I didn't get the money piece, I don't think it would be as dramatic and I don't think I would be mm -hmm. that in love with it, but it just frames my face so well that I'm like, whoa, like. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. It, it really mm -hmm. made me feel like a brand new bitch. It was awesome, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what Grace does this time. So I'm just gonna keep checking on your foils until they get as light as I want them. Cool. And then I'm gonna rinse them out. I'm gonna bring you back here to uh -huh. tone you just so that I can make sure I get all of it. And since we are gonna cut some off, I'm gonna do like a rough chop then too so that cool. we're not coloring hair that we don't need to. True. And then after that, I'll wash the toner out and we'll do your haircut. Like I get so many hair videos on my um, TikTok. And, yeah, and on my like Instagram and stuff too. Mm -hmm. They're like processing and even I sometimes I'm like, how are they gonna bring it back from that? <laughs> And it tones it down too, so like it looks so stark right now. What 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 do you mean? Um, like it tones it down to like a little bit darker. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, where it looks like oh, really yeah. dramatic right now. I yeah, I think <laughs> I I'm just I'm not faced because yeah, I know good. you can do it. I know you, you're gonna kill it, so I'm really good. not faced. But I do yeah. love like um, Justin Timberlake's ramen noodle dude. Yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of the penguins from Madagascar, but they're yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready to do it. <laughs> Y'all, it is short and so freaking cute. It looks so good, Grace. You literally killed it. <laughs> it's like my dream Pinterest hair. Can we do a copo? Wow. It is the next day and this is what my hair looks like today. It honestly feels just so short, but I literally love it. Like I'm so happy that we went short. Like I said, my hair just grows really fast. So I think it's super cute, very mature. I mean, I already missed my long hair, but I, I just am gonna have so much fun styling this. She did tone it a little bit darker so it will fade. Um, that happened last time. I feel like it was darker at the start of it, but then it got lighter over time. So overall, I'm super obsessed with it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little Q&A session I had with Grace, and I hope that helps you guys out because I honestly get so many messages, especially from girls with like virgin black hair. They're just so scared of bleaching it, and I totally understand, but it is so worth it to just have like dimension in your hair and just give it a little life you know I mean I loved my black hair and I still do but I am just obsessed with any color in my hair comment down below if you guys are thinking about doing something different to your hair and what it is and I will see y'all in my next video bye